ओके सो दिस इज अनदर सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस इज दी लेगरेजन अप्रोच फॉर बीट स्लाइडिंग ऑन यूनिफॉर्मली रोटेटिंग वायर सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द बुक सो द सेम स्टेप्स व्हिच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई कंस्टेंट्स देन यूज दिस कंस्टेंट्स टू रिड्यूस द डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम एंड फाइंड द लेगरेजन फंक्शन एल एंड देन सॉल्व अवर इक्वेशन सो नाउ यू कैन सी इन दिस फिगर सो दिस इज द टिपिकल डायग्राम फॉर अवर सिस्टम सो we have a, we have a plane x and y and we have a massless rod or massless wire over which we have a bead or we have a ring so one end of this rod is fixed at the origin and this rod is rotating with a constant angular velocity omega this motion is happening in the plane in the xy plane so when this uh, wire will move so the bead will experience a force so i am going to solve or i am going to find the equation of motion for this bead so first i am going since i am using this lagrangian approach so i need to find this lagrangian l so this is equal to t minus v since in the question it is given that it is a force free region so there is no potential field there is no potential energy so i can write this lagrangian as half mv square where v is the velocity of that bead but now here since this motion is happening in the plane so this velocity will have two component and one that is x component and y component so thus i can write this lagrangian as half m x dot square plus y dot square now i need to find these x dot and y dot in terms of other other parameters since this Uh, since it is given that the wire is rotating with constant angular velocity so it means that theta dot is constant so this is a constraint on the system well we can write these two equations that is x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta you are familiar with this here is a little problem which i forgot to put so this angle here theta is not with the y this angle is with the horizontal axis this is not with the vertical axis so that's why this component is r cos theta and this is r sin theta so that's true so now we need to we need to take its derivative so when i take its time derivative so x dot is equal to first we will take the derivative of r and then theta so this become r dot cos theta minus r sin theta theta dot similarly i can take a derivative of y so it is equal to r dot sin theta plus r cos theta theta dot so since i need to find this x dot square plus y dot square so i can square these two terms and then i can add them so when i square these two terms so i the, i will get these two, uh, these terms so this term comes from x dot square and this term will come from y dot square so these two terms will cancel out because they are same and opposite and from there i can take this these things uh, common so these are simple trigonometric relations so you can take you can work on work on this so this is very simple from these two terms i can take r dot square as a common and from other two terms i can take r square theta dot square as common so the finally i will get x square x dot square plus y dot square is equal to r dot square plus r square theta dot square so putting this value into the above equation i will get lagrangian l is equal to half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square thus we have this l so all we have to do is to find the equation of motion so here we have r and theta as uh, as uh, our coordinates but since we know that theta dot is constant so there is a constraint on theta so that's why i am using i am expressing this equation in terms of r so first i will take the partial derivative with respect to r so the first term does not contain r and the second terms only contain r so this from this i can get m r theta dot square and similarly here i can differentiate it with respect to r dot so i will get m r dot so this is the lagrangian equation so i can put it here so this become n r double dot minus m r theta dot square after very simple simplification i can get r double dot is equal to omega square into r so this is a standard differential equation in calculus so the solution of this equation is given by this relation okay that's all for today thank you so much for watching